Hi, everybody. Welcome to TechSoup. This is the new member orientation and our Q&A, the questions and answers. Questions you may have, and hopefully we will have the answers. I'm going to let you know how you can engage today. You are all on mute, um, but we will be able to answer your questions if you type them in the Q&A section. We have many team members here, so we can also answer your questions in the chat. Uh, we will email you these slides. They have lots of hyperlinks in these slides and the recording within 48 hours. If you need the closed caption, go ahead and tap on that CC button at the bottom of your screen. I'm excited you're here today. I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Nick Finn. He's a senior director here at TechSoup. Have a great webinar. Well, hi, everybody. Uh, it's good morning for me on the sunny west coast of California here uh, in Oakland specifically. Thanks, Aretha, again for the wonderful intro. Uh, and welcome to today's Welcome to TechSoup webinar. Um, you've got four wonderful folks here, including myself, Aretha Simons, who you've met already, and also joined today by Kevin Mulhall and Alicia Sudam, who are both uh, TechSoup staff here who help uh, individual nonprofits navigate the offers and the TechSoup structure itself. Um, this is not a sales webinar. Um, so I want to just take that expectation away right on the front end of it. Um, TechSoup is a nonprofit. We're here to help you. And so let's get into um, how the relationship works and what we can do to help you. I'm going to start with some buzzwords that you'll often hear um, buzzing around nonprofit technology circles just to get us all on the same page and that we are agreeing what the terms mean. You'll hear a lot of funders and um, technology providers talk about digital transformation. It can sound um, inaccessible, but but really, digital transformation is just the process of becoming a more tech-savvy nonprofit who uses the tools and platforms that are available to you uh, to do a better job delivering on your mission, uh, working with your team, um, digital transformation. Um, the second term you'll hear bandied about, particularly at TechSoup, uh, is civil society. Um, for some folks, that's old hat, but for some folks, that may be a new term. When we talk about civil society, we're really talking about non-governmental people and organizations who are not businesses, right? It is the rest of us who are working to make a better world, a better planet. Um, so the notion of civil society is sort of the collective group of us who are who are not the government and we're not corporations. Um, cloud adoption, pretty common term. Um, I could almost take it off the list at this point, but but for folks who may not know exactly what that means, really what we're saying is just using more modern digital tools that are web-based. So instead of programs that you download, particularly to your own laptop or to your desktop, and they stay there with no updates. Cloud adoption is using these modern web-based tools, which have a constant stream of updates, and you got to be online for those to work properly. All right, let's get into it. What is TechSoup? Well, as I said already, we are a 501c3 nonprofit organization in the United States specifically, and we are also part of a global network TechSoup is a global entity that works in countries around the world with nonprofits or in other parts of the world, we call them NGOs, non-governmental organizations. Um, and that network around the globe is working to make a more just and equitable planet and uh, to advance the cause of civil society itself, to make the world a fairer place for everyone. Our mission is to support nonprofits as you work with technology to help build a more equitable planet. So baked into the core of our mission as a 501c3 is that we're here to help you, other nonprofits. And I think that's important to point out. Um, a lot of the players in the technology field are for-profit corporations, but as a 501c3, a nonprofit ourselves, TechSoup understands what it means to be a nonprofit, and that means that we can do a better job serving you. We host a catalog of affordable technology products from major technology brands like Microsoft and Dell and Intuit and Adobe and many, many more. This catalog is online at TechSoup.org. 
we'll look at it together during this webinar. Um, the offers in that catalog are negotiated by TechSoup. And part of our goal is to help nonprofits afford technology because we know one of the big blockers is that technology is extremely expensive. Nonprofits don't have the same kinds of budgets as for-profit and big business. Um, and so part of what we try to do is, is help make that gap uh, smaller so that nonprofits can afford some of these tools. Um, we also know that it's not enough just to spend money on getting a digital tool or buying a new platform or a new program or a new piece of hardware. Lots of nonprofits also need help managing those platforms, managing that software, managing that hardware, choosing the right kinds of licenses for your nonprofits. Um, and uh, so we offer a stream of services to nonprofits to help you in that process of choosing, installing, and managing different software, hardware, and digital platforms. We also create content and specifically courses and trainings specifically for nonprofit staff who are trying to build their tech skills and expertise. And again, as a nonprofit, we can have a specific eye on what the needs of other nonprofits are versus just a generic catch-all uh, course or education session for anybody out there in the world. Uh, and finally, we do our own grant-based programming, like most nonprofits on this call, um, where we are strengthening civil society and uh, providing different programs based on different grant applications. And we're not going to talk a lot about that today because we're more focused here on the offers and services and education that we provide for you for nonprofits directly. So let's talk first about that product catalog that I brought up at the front end. Now, I promise this is not a sales webinar, and it's not. Um, the important part about this catalog is that these offers are here uh, in perhaps a more affordable manner than you would necessarily find them just online because we've negotiated these rates for nonprofits. If you go to TechSoup.org, um, you'll see at the top in the menu bar, product catalog. <clears throat> if you scroll down on the home page, you'll also see it again. Those are the two easy paths to get to the product catalog. But what's in there? Well, one of our longest partnerships at TechSoup, and we've been around for almost 30 years now, um, one of our longest partnerships has been with Microsoft. <clears throat> and so there's quite a bit of Microsoft nonprofit offers in the TechSoup catalog. Most nonprofits today are focused on using Microsoft 365 or Office 365 Enterprise. It is the cloud-based version of Microsoft Office. Um, if you've been in tech for a long time, uh, you may even remember back in the very old days when you would get like a CD-ROM and that's how you would buy a Microsoft Office and you installed it on a particular machine. Well, now, of course, uh, you download it directly through the web from Microsoft servers themselves. Um, and there's a continuous feed of updates applied to that platform. Um, TechSoup is a certified Microsoft uh, dealer on Microsoft 365. Um, and so you can work with TechSoup directly on your Microsoft needs. We still have the older versions of on-premises Microsoft programs as well. Um, though, again, you really want to be thinking about moving forward into the cloud-based versions of Microsoft offers. You can also get the Windows operating system through TechSoup, um, both as an upgrade and an, and an original product to install on a new machine. Um, and uh, we're going to hear more a little bit later specifically from Kevin Mulhall uh, about TechSoup's Microsoft relationship and, and how TechSoup can help you manage your Microsoft licenses. Adobe is another big partner that there's a lot of excitement about in our catalog. If you work in nonprofit communications, or maybe you work with a designer or somebody who's putting together graphics or manipulating photos for your nonprofit, it's pretty likely they're using Adobe software. Adobe's been at the forefront of this kind of work um, since the inception of the company. Um, and they created, they invented the PDF, the portable document format, right? Um, and so some specific offers from Adobe include Creative Cloud, which is all those different design and photo processing and video processing applications 
those require a degree of expertise to use. You can't just open them and start running, you know, jumping willy nilly into creating graphics. You, you, you do need to know what you're doing with those programs because they're deep, they're complex, but they're very powerful. Um, Acrobat Pro DC is Adobe's uh, platform for managing PDFs, portable document format. Um, and uh, we carry that as well. Um, uh, probably the most excitement right now for Adobe products is around Adobe Express, which is a new offer for nonprofits available through TechSoup. Currently, it is zero dollar admin free admin fee. Um, Adobe Express is sort of an easier, lighter way to do graphic and video editing. So if you don't have the expertise and depth to use Creative Cloud, um, Adobe Express uh, is something you might want to take a look at. Uh, there specifically has some cool stuff around video editing. Um, and I think there's even the capacity to do some of that on your phone itself. Um, so you may want to check out Adobe Express. Another very popular nonprofit offer in that catalog um, is Intuit QuickBooks. Um, you know, we were reminded once again during the pandemic when some nonprofits who still relied on paper and pencil accounting systems suddenly couldn't manage their accounts at all because nobody could go into the office because we were all, uh, you know, at home. Uh, and so it was just a reminder how important it is for nonprofits to really think about going uh, to digitally transform your, your financial platform and make sure that you are tracking your expenses and expenditures and income um, through a digital platform that's not just a spreadsheet, right? Something more complex and sophisticated than that. And Intuit QuickBooks specifically has been what most nonprofits who come to TechSoup are taking a look at. Uh, QuickBooks Online Plus is really the product that you want to take a look at there. And there is an advanced version as well. Um, you can take a look at our online FAQ to learn more about QuickBooks and how it can help your nonprofit. There are a number of other brands in the TechSoup catalog as well. These are just some of them, um, and I just have them on the screen to remind folks, uh, you know, that there's other stuff in there. But we also have hardware, and this is really important to point out. Again, going back to the pandemic, one thing that we really learned is that uh, when there are supply chain issues, um, nonprofits had a really hard time first finding, a, you know, hardware affordably. And then also sometimes it took a very long time to actually get that hardware in-house. Um, TechSoup has a great hardware catalog that's accessible through that through the website that I was showing you earlier. Um, we have new and used used is really refurbished. I'll talk about that more in a second. Laptops, desktops, we have great server and networking offers, um, internet hops, hotspots, um, and then, you know, the, the small devices that you need, mouses and headsets and uh, keyboards, cameras, stuff like that. Um, we've recently added a limited amount of Galaxy phones, iPhones, and iPads to our hardware catalog. So those are definitely worth taking a look at. Um, we have great partnerships with Dell, Lenovo, and HP, um, which offer $0 admin fees for access to their discounted catalogs for nonprofits. Um, Journey Ed is another popular hardware provider through the TechSoup catalog. But I want to take a moment here to actually highlight the refurbished hardware offers for nonprofits through TechSoup. Um, a long time ago, when uh, the digital industry was starting to just produce huge amounts of e-waste, um, there were folks at TechSoup who really thought it was, first of all, environmentally very unfriendly to just be throwing all this e-waste you know, into the garbage. Um, and secondly, it was pretty inefficient because a lot of it was usable technology um, and maybe just refurbishing that technology, making sure that it was still operating properly, um, that it met certain minimum standards, that these, um, you know, lovingly previously used uh, hardware items, laptops and desktops we're talking about, um, could be, you know, resold again, and um, a nonprofit could save some money by not buying a brand new item, right? Um, so that refurbished hardware program has been growing for years at TechSoup. Um, and in fact, now when you look out on the broader internet, you will see that refurbished hardware is quite the thing and is available in a lot of places. 
but TechSoup is one of the original uh, providers of access to refurbished hardware. We were one of the original folks who said, hey, we need to do a better job and be more environmentally friendly around this stuff. Um, so I invite you to take a look at that refurbished hardware catalog and see uh, you know, where you might be able to save some money and um, get the things that your nonprofit needs to continue operating. Getting to the hardware section of the site is a little tricky, which is why I highlight it in this slide. You first have to go to the product catalog. Then you go to that hardware uh, navigation button. This is on the left side of the page. Right. Well, beyond just the catalog <laughs> of technology products themselves, TechSoup also understands pretty clearly that it's not just getting tools that nonprofits need help with. It's also how to choose those tools, how to administer them, how to manage them, how to troubleshoot them when there are issues with them. There are services that come with these digital tools that TechSoup provides to nonprofits. They're not free. They do cost money um, because that's how TechSoup manages to stay open and continue serving the nonprofit sector. Um, but when you work with TechSoup on these services, one thing you should know is that we do the best that we can to make sure that the finances of TechSoup are aimed squarely at helping the nonprofit sector. So the services and the products that you pay TechSoup for come with a modest admin fee, and that admin fee is how we make sure that we continue to serve the nonprofit industry. Let's talk about what some of these services are and how you find them. First of all, in the drop down menu on the main homepage, there's that services tab. You can just drop that down um, and you will see uh, several different offers in there. I'm going to talk about a few of them today. Um, there's a help desk service, which is sort of what I would describe as the low bar. You've got one item that you need some help on, troubleshooting like that printer or a specific laptop or something, one item, right? You can set up a help desk service with TechSoup for 35 monthly or 350 annually for unlimited support on that device. Um, I already mentioned, and Kevin will talk more about it, Office 365. Um, it is a complex platform. It's extremely beneficial for your nonprofit but we provide services to help you manage those Office 365 applications. Those are well worth looking at if you're thinking about it. Um, we also have for the on-premises versions of Office, uh, uh, Office Standard, um, we can provide installation support for those kinds of things. Um, sometimes nonprofits have a bigger IT stack meaning that they have several pieces of technology, perhaps hardware and software. And what they're looking for is help managing all of that. That's where the managed IT service from TechSoup comes in and we can help you look at that bigger picture for your nonprofit. Um, and then there is something called the digital assessment tool that TechSoup has built and revising over time. The digital assessment tool lets you go in and through a series of questions, you can assess your nonprofit's digital capacity um, across several different areas. So for instance, you could look at your communication stack or you could look at your financial stack and understand where your nonprofit could do better. There's other services as well that I wanna go into a little more deeply now. We know that one of the primary uses of technology for nonprofits is as a communications tool, right? In fact, think about it, your website is probably the most important digital tool that you have um, and one of the most important ways that you communicate with the public, maybe with folks who use your nonprofit services, could be in some cases maybe elected officials or members of the press or other stakeholders. Um, those website and digital marketing services require some um, expertise sometimes. Um, and so TechSoup is pioneering website consultation and development for nonprofits. Um, we can do consultation and development of your digital marketing services. You know, marketing itself is a tricky word when it comes to nonprofits. Lots of nonprofits, you take that word marketing and you substitute in outreach, right? But the point is, how do you communicate to folks out in the, in the rest of the world about what it is that you do? how you might have a service that those folks may necessarily need. 
In some cases, nonprofits call those people constituents. They could be members, could be the public at large. Lots of nonprofits use something called the Google Ad Grant. Um, <clears throat> and uh, it's a great offer from Google where you could use up to $10,000 a month in targeted search ads, but there are caps on how that works. Um, and so nonprofits sometimes struggle with how to maximize that Google Ad Grant. Uh, TechSoup has a service where we can work with you to help you get the most out of that Google Ad Grant. Um, and then we have new offers that are just coming to market this year. Uh, including Google Analytics migration. Um, for those of you who are somewhat aware of it, uh, Google right now is, is ending what's called Universal Analytics and going to Google Analytics 4. Uh, Google Analytics or GA is backend metrics on your website. Um, if you're not using them, uh, but you have a website, I'd encourage you to start thinking about Google Analytics on your site. Um, if you do have GA on your site and you know that there's a migration issue, uh, you can work with TechSoup. We can help you get that migration executed. And it's important because, in fact, in July of this year, once UA is fully retired, if you have not migrated to GA4, you will begin to start losing some of your data. Um, we also have a brand new domain registration service, which is great for especially new nonprofits who are just starting to operate in the world and need help getting that first website set up and getting their first domain set up. These are all services available through TechSoup. Um, another part of what TechSoup provides is education and training. I want to talk a little bit about TechSoup courses here. Um, so again, in the spirit of being a 501c3 ourselves, when we develop educational materials for nonprofits, we do it with a very clear lens on specifically what nonprofits need. What do nonprofit staff need? What do they want to learn about? What's most helpful in their job roles? That's how TechSoup courses is structured. Um, we have a lot of different courses and offers in there. You can think of it as in two basic groups. There are lower level 100 courses, which you can think of as very as introductory to some things. We also have 300 level courses in our platform. Um, those cost money, but they are also much deeper and expert led and go further into the digital, um, the digital tools that each course is relevant to. Um, so far, we've had over 70,000 learners access TechSoup courses. We do have some that are available in Spanish as well. Um, as I said, you know, they're specifically designed for nonprofits, although anyone can sign up to use TechSoup courses. Um, one thing I do want to highlight is something called the Microsoft Digital Skills Center in the TechSoup courses platform. Um, so again, going back to that long relationship we've had with Microsoft, um, and, and the thing that I love to highlight here, because I, I use it all the time in our daily life. In fact, everybody on this call probably does. But like, who doesn't use Excel almost on a daily basis, right? And who knows that there's a thing they want to do in Excel. They know it can happen. They just don't quite know how to do it. You spend forever on Google trying to figure that out, watching YouTube videos. Um, Microsoft Digital Skill Center is TechSoup's answer to that kind of searching for answers. Um, so we've built these training programs around specific Microsoft tools, um, and I encourage you to check out the Digital Skill Center on the TechSoup Courses platform. Um, part of what we do on that Courses platform is that we stream several different things together to give you an overview. And so here I'm highlighting something called the Nonprofit Foundational Skills Track. The idea here is especially perhaps for a new executive director or somebody who's just set up a new nonprofit to get access to a series of different classes that gives them an overview of some key topics that probably matter to them. So in the nonprofit industry, we all struggle with project management because we always have more work than we can really do in a single day. And so the question of how to be efficient around that, not procrastinate, manage your projects well, project, man project management basics are a must have for nonprofits. I just mentioned Excel that's there on the list. Um, of course, going back to the pandemic era, you know, remote work and how to organize your team and manage your team. Fundraising and grant writing are critical parts of any nonprofit's financial picture. 
email marketing. Again, you could call that outreach if you want. Um, but email is one of the dominant communications forms nonprofits have to use to talk to stakeholders and their members. Um, as I mentioned, Google Ad Grants is something that we offer expertise on as well. And then tech planning and cybersecurity. These are both topics that anybody involved in the digital infrastructure of a nonprofit needs to know something about. So check out the Nonprofit Foundational Skills Track. I think you may find some stuff in there that's helpful. Right. So that's my quick overview of the TechSoup offers that are available to help your nonprofit. Um, and now I'm going to ask Kevin Mulhall, who's a senior technical customer success manager here at TechSoup, um, to go a little more deeply into the Microsoft Cloud offers that are available to your nonprofit. This is technical, and if it doesn't necessarily apply to you, stick around. But for some of you on this call, this stuff is going to be absolutely worth your time. So please stay tuned. Here comes Kevin Mulhall. Thank you, Nick. It's a pleasure to be speaking with all of you today. Again, my name is Kevin Mulhall. I'm a Senior Technical Customer Success Manager here at TechSoup. For those of you that may be wondering what exactly is customer success, uh, I'll have a little bit more on that later uh, in the slide. Um, before beginning, though, um, I would like to start with a quick poll. One second here. Uh, for those of you that are attending today, uh, is your organization currently using Microsoft 365? You, of course, don't need to answer this um, if you don't want, but out of curiosity, I'd like to see um, what percent of the audience uh, is currently using the platform. Let's give it about maybe 15 more seconds and see where we land. All right, 60-40, okay, this 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 will be good. Um, we've kind of bounced around from 90-10, 70-30. Um, so some of this uh, will be new stuff that I'm talking about um, for those uh, joining. So for those of you that aren't aware, um, Microsoft 365, as Nick has uh, uh, very well uh, laid out, uh, is uh, Microsoft's software as a service platform. Um, Microsoft 365 core licensing, um, for all intents and purposes, uh, comes in a couple of versions. Um, Microsoft 365 uh, Business, which includes Business Basic, Business Standard, and Business Premium. Microsoft Enterprise E3 and E5, and Office 365 Enterprise E1, E3, and E5. The two versions exist as either web-based or hybrid licenses. Web-based, as the name implies, provides access only to the web versions of the various applications, such as Word for the web, Excel for the web, etc. Hybrid licensing, on the other hand, provides web-based access as well as a desktop application entitlement or download, providing the full version of Office, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with. With over 150 different charity subscription SKUs, there isn't literally anything programmatically that a 365 license can't address. For those in that 40 percentile, if you're ready to begin the journey toward accessing Microsoft Cloud Solutions, there's a three-step process. First, you'll need to create an account at the Microsoft nonprofit portal, nonprofit.microsoft.com. Next, you'll have to have that account, or we call it tenant, validated. Validation service is something that we provide on the back end uh, to Microsoft. This process typically takes five to seven business days. And the final part we will be discussing, uh, the final part rather of this process is what we refer to as the cloud manager or cloud storefront tool uh, integration. Uh, this tool will allow you to access the storefront where you'll be able to purchase licensing. Uh, if you find yourself stuck in any part of the process, we do have a team at the ready that can assist via chat as shown in the bottom of the screen that you're looking at. Next slide, please. 
Understanding that a move to the cloud can be challenging, we offer free consultation services. Uh, during your session with us, you'll be able, we'll be able to assist with registration, choosing the appropriate subscription license, providing recommendations and services, license implementation, and ongoing support to you at no cost. Next slide. As promised, I wanted to give you a quick overview of what my team does at Customer Success. We are actually approaching the two-year mark, I think, that we've been around. Um, we kind of sit a little bit uh, in the background, um, but we are a small team of six that's dedicated to assisting customers with all of the items that you see here on the screen. From technology review and planning, we refer to this as technology auditing organizational strategy, identifying opportunities for potential financial and volunteer support. We know, especially if you're running a, not, a small nonprofit, that that is critical. Uh, triaging managed support projects, as Nick brought up earlier, uh, we do work with some managed service providers. We're happy to be the front line of that to help scope that um, request for proposal and providing quotes and invoices for bulk product requests. So with that, I will pass it over to Alicia. Great, yeah, so just to introduce Alicia, um, and I wanna make clear that there's there's two different roles here, right? So um, Kevin's team, customer success, helps you like go deeper with a big platform like Microsoft Office 365, right? Alicia Sudam's team, client services, helps you manage your relationship with TechSoup. Right. So they're not help desk. You can't go to them for assistance on QuickBooks or something like that. But if you need help, like with an order that you've placed or something's happening with your account on the TechSoup website, then the client services team can help you manage that. So, Alicia, welcome and take it away. Hello. Oh, we may have we may have a frozen screen there. So, am I still frozen? There you go. Okay. Am, am I, we're going now, we're rolling? You're rolling. Okay, great. Um, so can we get the next slide? Thank you. Um, so our team is here, like Nick said, to help you navigate your TechSoup account. Um, we'll also help you navigate the TechSoup website and the offers that you can find there. Um, so this slide here, we kind of have an overview of what a product page looks like. This is for QuickBooks Online Plus. Um, it's one of our most popular offers. And the red box here that is highlighted, um, this is showing you that within each product page that you can find on our product catalog, there are three separate tabs. Um, each tab has its own set of information about that offer. The first tab, the description tab, that'll give you the general overview of what you're working with, of what the software does, and um, kind of the general support that's available. Um, the second tab, the subscription details, that'll give you more information about what you're actually getting and what the cost is going to be. Some of our offers are access to discounted rates. So the admin fee that you see um, is what you pay TechSoup. And then there's a discounted rate that you will pay to the actual software service provider. That will also give you information about how the, the product works if you currently have an account or a subscription already, say for example, um, with Adobe. Um, if you have an Adobe individual plan already, there are certain steps that you'll have to take um, to actually access the discounted offer. Those specifics are going to be found in that second tab. The third tab, Rules, Eligibility, and Restrictions, goes into which organizations are eligible for each offer and why. Um, what you may find when you go through the TechSoup catalog is you'll try to add an item to your cart you'll get an error message saying your organization type is not eligible for this offer. And some folks think, why am I not eligible? 
There are several reasons for that, and you're going to find those reasons in the rules eligibility and restrictions tab. So there is a difference from having a qualified tech soup account, which I think most of you have. Um, that means you've gone through the process, we've vetted your information, you're ready to go on TechSoup, and the eligibility requirements is something that comes down from our partners um, that basically just match the scope of philanthropy that they have for their goals. Um, again, on this page, um, I just want to point out there are several ways um, on the top left here that you can look for different offers in the TechSoup.org site. There's by donor or company. That's a so that's for the specific um, provider. That would be like Adobe, Intuit, Microsoft, and so forth. Second tab is by category. So if you think, gosh, I really need to figure out my fundraising or how to get grants, or I need to figure out my accounting software, you can go in and look at the offers based on category on that tab there. And then also the hardware, like Nick said before, you can find our hardware offers there. That will include new hardware and the refurbished hardware programs. Um, and then on the far right hand side, <laughs> right, uh, there's a little magnifying glass and you can also search by specific offer there. Okay, next slide, thank you. <laughs> um, so what our team does is we offer support for you. If you've gone through all those resources on your own, you've read through the product page, and all the tabs, and you still have questions about functionality, about how to access the offer, you can contact TechSoup. That will be our team um, about pretty much anything regarding how you're going to get those offers. So we have here in the red box with the big red arrow pointing, that's our help tab. That tab is very helpful. <laughs> who, would, who would think it? Um, so when you click that tab, you're going to get a read directed to our support page on TechSoup. If, yes, there we go. This is what it's gonna look like. So you have your big search bar here at the top. So if you want to search for something specifically, say eligibility, like we were speaking about before, you can just type that keyword in and it's going to come up with a big list of resources about TechSoup eligibility. Um, and then we have these pointed um, searches to the getting started, donation availability requests and licensing, and so on and so forth. You can look, you can review this when you have your own time. Um, I generally suggest that folks kind of read through each of these tabs that you're interested in um, before you start making requests. A lot of the requests at TechSoup are non-refundable once they're fulfilled. So it's really good to get an idea of which, uh, what are the requirements for each different program. And you can find that either here in the help, the search magnifying glass from the previous page, um, or just from these pointed searches here. And if you still need further help and you wanna to talk to one of us, you can contact us. So this is um, a picture of the very, very bottom of the TechSoup landing page. If you scroll all the way down, you can see these little actions here, more TechSoup, get in touch, follow us, subscribe to our newsletters. Um, that contact us button, that's what you're going to press if you want to get a hold of somebody who works here for any kind of additional support. And we recently updated our contacts. So first off, um, when you come to this contact text suit page, on the bottom right hand corner here, there's this little help button. Um, that is going to get you to our chat services. It's also going to pull up a search bar or a search um, where you can actually go in and kind of search for assistance first. Um, and you can also call us. That's the big red box, obviously. You can call customer service. Um, and we have the next page will show, the next slide is going to show that we have um, kind of cut or not cut, but um, sectioned out our support hours to so we can better support people more fully. So our live chat is available Monday through Thursday, 11 to 4 p.m., 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific time. Our support team is located on the West Coast. So most of the support hours that we're going to be working in are going to be um, on Pacific time zone. And then on Friday, we have chat support all day, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific time. And our phone support is also available Monday through Thursday in the mornings, 11, 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. And then Fridays, we only do chat support. Um, so chat is definitely the fastest way you're going to get support. Um, if you're comfortable with 
typing out what you need and kind of moving forward with just chat support, that is a great way to go. I like to encourage folks to use chat first. Um, oftentimes our um, people that are helping you, the AMS account management specialists that are helping you, they can see where you've navigated, where you've clicked and what page that you actually went to the chat support on. So we can see kind of your pathway to where you're going, what you're looking at. We can provide links for you to give you faster support. Um, screenshots, you can provide screenshots to us. It's a really, really good tool and a fast tool for getting support if you're comfortable with chatting. Um, you can also always call us as well when we have our phone hours open. Sometimes you're going to wait a little bit longer for the phone support, just because our folks are talking to each person as they're calling in. You are getting a live person. Um, you're not going to get a bot or an answering service it's where you press buttons to get to who you need to go to. You're definitely going to get put into a queue and we're going to answer your call as it comes in. Um, so calls, they do take a little bit longer. Chat is faster. It's a little bit more efficient because we can do things in real time. But if you're more comfortable calling, definitely give us a ring and we will answer it when we get to it in line. And so there are several things that we can assist with. Um, down here on the left side of the slide, we can assist you with your TechSoup account management. So if you need to find a request or a fulfillment email in your account, you wanna change your authorized agents, your address or find a validation token, we can help you with all of those things. We can help you with your eligibility questions. We can help you understand what your eligibility is for each different program and why. Um, and we can help you navigate the resources and requesting products on our website. We can help you navigate the website. We have a lot of information there. Sometimes we just need, sometimes folks just need a little bit of help figuring out where to find that information. And we're here to help you do that. Um, the things that we can't assist you with are going to be IT support, um, product support, downloading, installation, things like that. A lot of the software as service solutions are managed through the actual provider. So a lot of the support is going to come directly from that provider. Um, we can't look at your accounts, say for Adobe or Intuit. We don't have access to those platforms. So we're, we can't really help you do that in-depth product support or the functionality questions. If you are asking like, oh, I have this type of system. This is what my IT stack looks like. Is this product going to integrate seamlessly? Um, those aren't really questions that we can ask just because we don't have the scope of information. We have so many offers on our TechSoup catalog that we don't really have the capacity to become experts in everything that we offer. But if you have a question like that, you can still come to us and we can help you with the next steps for finding help from the provider. Um, sometimes it is overwhelming and we're a good first stop point if you need help figuring out how to navigate, how to get support somewhere else. We can definitely help you with that. Um, so that's kind of like an overview of what we can offer and when, but um, chances are if you chat in or call in and somebody needs help with your question, I'll be the one helping them find the answer. I think that might be it. Is there another slide for us? That was it. Thank you, um, mm -hmm. Alicia. Wonderful job. And I want to take my hat off to you. This is Alicia's first time with us on this webinar. And she Hi. did a great <laughs> job. So thank you so much. Um, well, that brings us to the end of the formal presentation. Um, and so before we end the webinar, I just want to leave you with a few, uh, a few passing thoughts. Um, and, and it really loops back to what I was saying at the very beginning, which is that uh, because TechSoup is not a for-profit business, because we are a 501c3 nonprofit, and our mission is really to support you in your work by helping you use technology, like we're invested in your success. We really do care about the nonprofit movement. That's why we've chosen to be one ourselves. So I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who are attending today because you have made a choice to be part of the nonprofit work in the United States of building better, more resilient communities, of helping across a wide number of different initiatives, um, and you're building a better world. So thank you for your help. We know technology can be intimidating and expensive and difficult to troubleshoot. Um, we're going to do the best that we can to help you 
uh, in that process. Um, and my final parting thought is this, you know, obviously at TechSoup, like, like any other organization, um, we're, we, we hire a lot of people. And one of the questions people always ask is like, what's the culture like? And, and, and I always find it really easy to answer that question. And I think it matters to all of you on this call as well, which is that we are a very people oriented organization. Uh, my colleagues are wonderful at TechSoup. Everybody who's working at TechSoup has chosen to work here because we care about the nonprofit industry and because we, you know, have some kind of technical skills ourselves that we really think can help. Um, and so when you come to TechSoup for help, as uh, Alicia was just saying, and also as Kevin was saying, you're not diverted into uh, a bunch of non-human responses in, in answer to your questions. TechSoup is here to be live human beings for you. Um, and so you, you get to engage with us human to human, and we'll do the best we can to help you with the offers and services that we can provide. Um, and so with that, I thank you very much for coming today. Hopefully, um, this is the beginning of a beautiful relationship together. Um, I know that there's a survey that comes out after this webinar, and as Aretha has said in chat already, uh, you will receive a copy of the presentation um, that we had on screen today. There are live links in that presentation, so um, feel free to click through to those. And uh, otherwise, if you just want to go straight to the site, it's techsoup.org. Um, and, uh, you know, the important part is that um, you need to be a qualified nonprofit to use these offers, right? Which is why going through that qualification process is an important first step. Um, and, and, and as this webinar is really designed for nonprofits who are new to TechSoup, I'll make the assumption that, that you all have gone through that qualification process. If you have not, then you really need to do that first before you can use the catalog. And you can do that by using the join button at the top right hand corner of the screen. So with that, um, I bid you adieu on this Thursday. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And thank you very much for your time and attention today. It was wonderful seeing you all on the, on the webinar. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>